Good morning. A bit late to the party. I slept like half an hour extra. And I have some, how do you say, it? wake up problems now or getting into the flow kind of problems. But we're ready. We're active. We're here. That's what matters. So welcome to another pre-mark analysis. Today is Friday, 2nd of June. And look at how clean this is. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is perfect. Literally perfect. Took out those highs. Took out previous daily lows. We get that turnaround. We got the inducement. Reacting from deep. We're getting deep out of that um, 50 minute demand zone. Came below here. Then we got that London entry, probably just below there. Yep, into that fair value gap. Then looking to the left, there really was an entry. And there actually wasn't really an entry. But nice nonetheless. Now following this one to the downside there. I think there's a short entry because I said we still have this range from this high down to that low there. So we got a 50 minute structure shift over over here. And then we follow this one. And then this is a little recap, by the way. We have this um, last zone of supply. And then if we go lower, we want to see early sellers on the way up. The only thing with this is that you have to take from one minute, but that's all right. Cause yeah, you just follow the structure. I don't know if it lines up with DXY though. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's no entry. There's early sellers, but there's no entry. Clear, clear, clear early sellers. Already saw them on the five minutes. That's another good thing. And then you can see here, this one doesn't break above. So this break is not bearish break and we're not in a POI anyway. Uh, and we want to take out all liquidity before looking for the sell. So at least above this one, or actually at least above this one, but this one is even better. I should tap into that fair value gap. Then you want to break, but there's no break. So that's it. All right. That was nice. Really that really that fast. I can do a recap. But yeah, you want to cover everything. Now, if you go to the 15, we can see that closure probably. Yeah. So we got that candle closure uh, wick or entire candle that doesn't come above here. Takes out that wick. Then we get this one that comes above. Closes a doji followed by a strong bearish push. And this one is quite inducive. Inducive? I don't know. Because we get below here. But immediately followed by the turnaround. All right, let's get into today. So what are we looking at today? First of all, we got previous daily highs here. Those are taken. Now we're taking out Asia highs. So you could, I'm not trading because I got my profits for this week. I'm happy with that. But you can see here we took previous daily highs. Previous daily highs. We took out this internal range liquidity. We're now reacting from this area up here. Actually, this one. But if we zoom in, we can see that we now took out Asia highs as well. And this is the recipe for a nice short entry. Thing is, where are we? If we look to the left, so we took out this trend line, liquidity. We now have a bullish break. 
actually this one, but let's use this one as this was more. Uh, okay, let's use this one. And we have this range. So it's already pretty straightforward where we're going to trade from. We're going to either look for turnaround now. And otherwise, we can look for this area. Because this one took liquidity. Or we can look to trade from this area and then we got a little cluster of trades that of candles over here. A little slowdown. We can maybe use that as liquidity. But if we get below here, then especially this area is a nice liquidity point in the form of this uh, New Year low. It's almost a one hour demand, but demand, but we will use as 15. This is definitely a 15 minute demand. Look like that. Now, if we look at DXY, because we have that quite an analysis going on over here. You can see that this liquidity grab wasn't induced with a need. Then we broke above, came below, came higher. There's break. And pretty much same story here. We're now inside this bearish range. Now if we zoom out here, what else do we have? We're now right from this to previous daily lows. I don't, I don't really use that thing with Asia where we need to take Asia lows and everything with DXY, but hold up. Wow. I just use that for EU and GU. So looking at the area, we took this liquidity. <laughs> So the same story here, we might get that return into that premium pricing, then we might continue down. And if we zoom further out, what can we see? Took that internal range liquidity, created bullish lag on the red structure, still respecting that green, uh, but dark blue structure. <clears throat> and essentially, this was that liquidity sweep for that turnaround. So, buys below here, below Asia for, well, especially on EU, below Asia. I don't know if that needs to happen on DXY, we'll see. And then the turnaround. So, aka, sells on EU until we reach the discount. And from the discount, we're going to look for buys. Now, GU, as I said, this perfect trend line will be taken out. That was too easy. But messy. Sorry. Oh, my nose. So we took our previous weekly highs. We took our previous daily highs. And the Asia high is still above. And this 
high from to the, from the left. So ideally, want to wait for that to be taken before looking for shorts. So I gonna wait on GU for that to be taken before looking for shorts. And same story here. Although we got we reached into the premium of this bearish leg. We got from this high down to this low. So four hour wise, we are in a perfect area for sales as well. So I would look for price to come above here. Not not maybe don't even need to tap into this. Will be nice. But especially come above that liquidity and then look for potential turnarounds because then we took previous weekly highs. We took internal range liquidity over here, over here. We took previous daily highs and we took Asia high. So then it's fair like to look for shorts. And unless that until that happens, we can wait maybe on EU as well. DXY is still showing us that it can, can come lower just by looking at this bit of price action. Now, if we go lower, you see that just respecting over here and it's pushing, still pushing further down. So let's just be patient. So that's it. Sells from above here, buys from below here, sells from at least above here. And same story here where we got some buy areas on DXY, but let's fall, uh, no, let's not mark them on uh, on GU, but let's not let's not mark them on. Yeah, as we have this bearish range, no attack. Although looking at DXY, if this bearish trend continues, I would say it's this one on the higher time frame. Yeah, we know it's that one on the lower time frame, but this one on the higher time frame. I would say if this one this continues, then GU will come way up. This it will come easily above here. Although we didn't reach into that um into the premium price uh, discount pricing for the blue leg. We can see that we took this liquidity over here and now we're up here. DXY took this liquidity, now we're up here. EU and e only compared to EU is a little different, a little bit different, but that's a shit thing, by the way. That means that we could go down this little bit. Of price action look exactly the same as DXY in the higher time frame. That's not good. So the DXY means sells means GU buys. So a bit of a conflicting thing there. But let's focus on the sales from here and buys maybe from discount pricing then as we want to see DXY go lower, meaning EU GU go higher. And that's what I'm looking at for today. I don't know if I will be trading. I don't think so. It's been a nice week. Why give anything back? All right. Peace out.